all right what's up everybody welcome back to the channel it's sebs and for the first time ever in my life uh we're checking out the little river band one of the comments on this video we're checking out if the eagles and the Bee Gees had a baby we're checking out this song thanks to a generous and kind donation from spike spike thank you whoever you are spike says haven't seen any little rubber band released in 1967 and the production is unbelievable unbelievable for the time i suggest headphones which is why we are wearing these uh, a sponsor of the channel status audio uh, look in the description down below to you know find a code for yourselves and you won't need shrooms one of my favorite things to do in this channel is to cover music that uh, i just never really listened to some of it may be stuff that i heard you know in passing because of my family right or just from living in society sometimes we get suggestions like this of i've never heard of these folks so i'm excited to check it out guys thank you so much for clicking on this video and being here if you want to support the channel some more check out the description down below but what are we doing here we're putting our si aside our worries and concerns. Perhaps you're living vicariously through me, your first time listening to songs that made an impact on you. So sit back and, and let's talk. If you're new to these sorts of videos, I have to pause and interrupt the songs. It's just the nature of the beast. We'll try to keep those uh, pauses brief and then we'll talk some more at the end, okay? Let's roll it. I feel like I'm listening to the Beatles, kind of. Ooh. Having spatial audio is fascinating for this. I'm hearing like a guitar over there. And that was like funky as all get out. What's happening? two minutes in we're running a little bit before we keep going dude what a production orchestra just nails it but then that merge into some funky good just what a sound i i honestly can't believe how good it, it sounds uh you know with surround sound with it with with wearing uh, headphones i know you like these these are like ear, earbuds but they're freaking fantastic probably because it's a it's a remaster they've they've done great with all of that there are so many layers of things happening that um, I am missing some of the lyrics here. Just in that search of that thing, right? And it's a long way there. It's a long way to where I'm going. Nice, guys. Yeah. 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 
to a song transition here the suspense you're probably like come on just keep listening through it i have to so just a quick note i can't believe how musically impressive this is it's like just like a group of geniuses got together composers and everything's good the riffs the orchestration the production the you know the harmonized vocals this is phenomenal and if you think about it, this was recorded in 1967 so it's not like you could doctor music to like today, right? Using auto tune and crap like that to get it to sound right. They were, they were in the studio just nailing it. And I love that. Okay. There was this cool transition coming. So I'm actually going to rewind just even a little back to, to feel this. Nice. I love choosing that minor chord right there. Yes. This is a great solo, dude. Orchestra coming in. Yeah. So many sections to this song. That whole string guitar in there sounded great. And then we're back. Dude, that is so fire, bro. Orchestral rock? I don't I mean there has to be a better term for it. That's just what's coming up right now. Where there are like our movements within the song. Calling it a song, right? I feel like you have to call it a piece within the piece. All of these sections, again, dude, composers, not rock stars. Great solo, symbolic of the journey the protagonist of the song is in. Australian band, Little River Band. It's Long Way There was written by vocalist and guitarist Graham Goble. So that's, homie's crushing it. 
and produced by the entire band in collaboration with Glenn Wheatley. Goble took the song's inspiration from the long journey he had to travel to get the laundry to his mother. Goble lived in, in Melbourne while his mother lived in Adelaide. It's a long way there ensured the international breakthrough of the band after they had already had two top 20 hits in Australia. The Americans associated the song with the long road of the country still had to travel to recover from the recent Watergate scandal and the equally recent Vietnam War, and it was just crushing it globally. I, I frankly love it when bands do this. The song can be so symbolic, but he was just writing it about, you know, day in the life, really. So there is something different to everybody. With that solo, that breakdown of the the anxiety when you're in that chaos and the in the unknown. Cause it's gonna hit you in waves, right? You're gonna be focused. Let's get there. And then boom. Like where the like what's going on? Like just the journey. Just the journey. Right? So then we've got we can hit it back. you feel that there's something we're not all there yet like this ending it's almost I'm like it's a questioning feeling Okay. Yeah, dude. That was that was fire. I I feel like you know part of like Led Zeppelin's inspirations and whatnot here. That's so complex. I love the solos. Well, the solo, but I love all the different types of the guitars. I honestly, I'm going through the comments here, bro. Everyone brings up like, how is this not more well known? And I don't know, cause that's that's quite amazing, man. I had a really good time. I really hope this video I'm able to put up and that it does decent, cause I feel like more people need to know about this. I am a little concerned. It's UMG that owns the rights here, so freak upon the day of recording this, this might not even be able to be up, but. Uh, that might be what we titled the video, The Forgotten Masterpiece, you know? Wow. I also encourage you using, listening it to it, listening to it uh, properly, because that was freaking phenomenal. That was phenomenal, dude. Again, I feel like this is pre, like, like, Led Ze like the experiences I've had, like, listening to Pink Floyd or Led Zeppelin. I had that here. It took me somewhere. I feel like we took interruptions to say what we had to say over and over. Everything was fantastic. Honestly, to the point that we're getting repetitive here, so we're gonna just start cutting this down. I had such a good time, man. Would love to hear from you all. Why do you think this song uh, did not become more mainstream? Or at least today, right? Why was it kind of, why does it feel like it was forgotten? We'd love to hear your guys' thoughts, but that was um, amazing. Imp very impressive. Thank you guys for being here. Wow, that was fun.